New Hyundai i30 1.0 Petrol 2017 Review We drive the new Hyundai i30 in the UK, and find this 1.0 liter turbo the pick of the range. Verdict 4 Star The Hyundai i30 is a family car you'll buy with your head rather than your heart, but this 1.0 liter turbo is our pick of the range. It's cheaper to run and more fun to drive than the 1.4 tons, without sacrificing much in the way of performance or refinement. Still, the fact remains that while the i30 is a very competent car, rivals such as the Vauxhall Astra and Renault Megane offer a better balance of ability. It's always big news when a new family hatchback comes along, as despite the rise of SUVs, it remains one of the most popular types of car in the UK. Buyers love the mix of practicality, economy, and driving fun you get with cars such as the Vauxhall Astra and VW Golf, and now there's a new Hyundai i30 ready to take on the aforementioned establishment. Cars like the Renault Megane and Seat Leon prove that family cars needn't be boring. Sadly that's not quite the case with the i30. It's better looking than before, with its large grille and sharp looking head and tail lights, but the overall design is still a bit dull. It just doesn't stand out from the crowd. For some, that'll be just what they're looking for, however. The interior is classier than before as well, and the large 8-inch dashboard-mounted touchscreen gives the cabin a modern feel. Lower-spec cars get a smaller display, but SENAV models and above user the sharper setup, which is handily easy to use. Some parts look a little cheap, such as the small dials for the heater controls and the plastics around the door bins, but on the whole the inside of the i30 is pretty good, if a little behind the best cars in this class. As is the trend these days, Hyundai has fitted the i30 with a turbocharged three-cylinder petrol engine, and it's a great match. Performance is good, with 118 bhp and 171 nm of torque, and while you can't avoid the background thrum, the 1.0 liter petrol is surprisingly quiet under load. Economy figures for the 1.0 liter beat those of the 1.4 we tried previously, at 56.5 mpg and 115 g slash km of CO2, the 1.4 manages 52.3 and 124 g slash km, but the fleet friendly 1.6 liter diesel model returns 74.3 mpg. The small petrol is flexible enough for high-speed cruising as well as for nipping around town, and the same can be said about the i30s handling. While it's nowhere near the class leaders for fun on a twisty road, the steering has a natural weight to it and there's plenty of grip. The lighter front end of the 1.0-liter model means it's better to drive than the four-cylinder cars. The steering is still a bit numb, but it feels sharper, and the 16-inch wheels on our test car gave the i30 a softer edge than models fitted with larger 17-inch rims. All models are comfortable, though, managing to glide over rough rural roads smoothly. A well-considered driving position, supple ride, and refined cabin come together in the i30s favor. It's great on the motorway too, as the cabin stays nice and quiet even at 70 miles per hour. It's not quite as comfy in the back, where taller passengers will feel a bit cramped, but the trade-off is that the boot is a generous size. At 395 liters with the seats up and 1,301 liters with them folded down, it's bigger than that of a VW Golf. Still, a Skoda Octavia not only has 590 liters of boot space, it's much more spacious in the back as well. It's more comfortable too, so if all you want is a spacious cruiser, the Skoda is a better bet. The VW Group 1.0 liter turbo is a gem, too. The i30 is well equipped, and the SENAV model we've tested here is a top choice, the 8-inch screen is a great addition, but you also get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, DAB Radio, wireless phone charging and loads of safety kit including auto emergency braking and lane departure warning. Key Specs Model, 
Hyundai i30 SE NAV 1.0 TGDI 120 PS Price, £19,645 Engine, 1.0 liter 3 CYL turbo petrol Power slash torque, 118 bhp, 171 nm Transmission, 6 speed manual, front wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour 11.1 seconds top speed 118 miles per hour economy slash co2 56.5 mpg slash 115 g slash km on sale now